Greetings, Deep Dive Podcast listeners. This is your boy, Sam Orem, coming at you with another episode of the Deep Dive Podcast. We had a great podcast last week, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for all of your responses, your replies, your chats, uh, your, your emails, everything. We talked about the Kingdom Principles of Edition, and I shared with you that I was going to start you know, giving you some more information uh, from the teachings of Dr. Miles Monroe, one of my mentors who's passed on, but left a wealth of knowledge. I have a, a ton of notes from some of the things that he shared with me in his teachings. And so I just wanted to share a lot of that information with you guys over the next few weeks as a tribute to him, but then also the content is second to none. So thank you so much for all of you who tuned in last week to the Kingdom Principles of Edition. This week, I want to talk a little bit about the four laws of business. And also, again, this is from my notes from Dr. Monroe. Um, I kind of have my own spin on it, but the the foundation of what I want to share is just some of the things that he shared with me. Before I get into that, those of you who are new to the podcast, welcome. I welcome you to the podcast. I'm excited every week. We get uh, growing numbers every week because new people are continuously joining our platform. So we're excited about that. And for our listeners who have been around through all three seasons, thank you again and welcome to this particular edition of the Deep Dive Podcast. Don't forget, guys, to like, subscribe, download, and share. All of this information is not just for us, it's not just for me, it's for all of us. It's for us to be able to share with people and empower people around the world. So let me just jump right into this topic because it won't be very long at all. It's just four different laws that I want to share with you. But I think these laws are very important as it relates to how to build your business, because these are laws as a, a distinct uh, concept. This is what will separate you from a lot of the other people if you take advantage of these particular laws. Some of it may sound redundant, especially when I'm talking about the teaching of Dr. Miles Monroe, because at the end of the day, everything that he was, was about identifying your purpose. And so when we talk about the laws of business, that is actually the first law, purpose, okay? Now, we know purpose, what that means in terms of your overall you know, journey of life. Why are you here? What is your purpose for being here? God gave you the gift of life and what you do with that life is your gift back to God. We understand purpose from that particular perspective, but what does purpose mean from a business standpoint as it relates to one of the four laws of business? Well, we have to understand that every business should have a clear sense of purpose beyond making a profit. That's the key part. That those last few words, beyond making a profit. See, it's one thing to have a purpose. It's one thing to have an identity for your business. It's one thing to, to want to make a profit for your business. We all want to make profits as business owners. That's one of the key reasons for doing business. But then what is your purpose beyond making a profit? Um, are you being a servant to people, serving people? What is your, what is your purpose beyond um, making a profit? I have a good friend of mine. He's in Orlando, Florida, a guy by the name of, um, I, I'm, I'm hesitant to give the name, but because he might get on my case, I didn't get permission, but he's a very good friend of mine, a guy by the name of Kenneth Parsons. We we just call him Parsons. He was uh, my roommate in college at Florida a &M, and him and his wife, Kim, uh, they have a food truck. And man, the food truck is a very, very um, profitable business that they have down in Florida, in Orlando specifically. However, um, the, this couple, man, this these are like the nicest people I've ever met. You know, uh, Ken and Kim Parsons, they are like the nicest people I've ever met. And they, I say that because when you have an opportunity to eat their food, right, uh, when you have an opportunity to enjoy their food, you can tell the love that was poured into making every morsel of every bite of food. Yeah, I mean, you could just tell it. You can tell when people really take time to prepare a meal or whatever that business is, but they take time to prepare. You can just tell, right? And I've traveled the world. I've eaten at a lot of different places. But when I go to um, Orlando, 
and I gotta I gotta look up the name of the food truck. I think it's Mama's something, but I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up and 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 tell you exactly where you should uh, look for this particular food truck. But I could tell, man, Kim, uh, she does a bulk of the cooking herself, or and and you know, of course, Ken helps. But man, it's it's just a labor of love. It's a labor of love. So when we're talking about your purpose beyond making a profit, this is a that's the first thing that came to my mind. Yeah, they're gonna make money. That goes without saying because it's very, very successful. But the fact that they pour so much love into it, the little things matter to them. The little things, you know, this is here, this is there. Everything has a purpose because their purpose in business is beyond profit. And so you want to think of it from that perspective with your business, you know, how can you go above and beyond just making money to satisfy your customers, your clients, whatever the case may be, right? That second law is vision. These things are interchangeable because again, we know what the purpose is in the bigger picture, the macro, same thing with the vision. But when we narrow that down to the micro, when we look at it in terms of one of the four laws of business, when you have vision, that means as it relates to business, that means you recognize the significance of having a particular vision because it's going to inspire people. It's going to guide people in the direction that they need to go. And it's also a guiding direction for the growth of your business. Hence, it's one of the laws of business. It is a guiding principle, a guiding direction for the growth of your business, but is also designed to inspire other people. So what is the vision of your business? What is it that you're doing? Not just, be, you know, you don't want to just be doing anything. What is the vision of it? What is the purpose of your business? Why are you doing business the way you're doing, doing it? I have another uh, friend of mine. I guess this is the night for. Uh, shout outs to all of my friends that are business owners, but I have a good friend of mine in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, a guy by the name of Roosevelt Glenn Stringer, and he has a uh, twofold uh, apparel ministry. I call it a ministry, but it's gear called uh, Covenant Army and then also Heal the Culture. And having worked with, uh, I call him Glenn, but having worked with Glenn, you know, I understand that his business the Covenant Army and Heal the Culture, it has a vision beyond just making profit. It is truly a ministry. You know, it is to empower people from a perspective of the principles of the ministry. It is to empower and to inspire people. That's that word, inspire people. Uh, but he's doing this inspiration through his business, through his clothing line, right? It is also guiding people in the direction to the principles of God. Whatever you believe, the, the overarching thought about any religion is love, right? So Covenant Army and Heal the Culture, it talks about love through a ministry, through apparel, through a clothing line. That's what the vision of a company is about beyond making a profit. You're starting to get a theme here, right? Purpose beyond the purpose, vision beyond the vision, beyond profits. That's going to be very important. So that's the second thing, the second law. The third law is something called stewardship, stewardship. And I think for me personally, this is probably the, the biggest part of the four laws because it emphasizes the idea that business owners and leaders, for that matter, they're stewards that are entrusted with resources and things of other people. In other words, people are trusting you with something, right? And you have to be a good steward over that something, whether it's, you know, again, going back to food, you know, I love talking about food because I love to eat <laughs> and my body shows. But, um, you know, when you're talking about being a good steward over something, I mean, you want people that's going to prepare your food or prepare your clothes or prepare your whatever it is. And you are entrusting them to do the right things that, you know, your, your food is clean is is this people have taken the time to do X, Y, and Z as it relates to whatever it is, whatever business you're talking about, because you're entrusting your whatever into that business. So us as business owners, we have to be good stewards and stewardship over those things for with which we were entrusted. And I remember Dr. Monroe, he actually taught uh, the importance. He taught me the importance of responsible management 
uh, ethical practices of business. Think about those terms, um, you know, responsible management. What does that mean? That means you're responsible for this, that, and the other. Uh, the customer is always right. You look to do what's right because it's right. If it's not right, make it right. Those kind of things. Ethical practices, that goes without saying. You want to build your business. If you're talking about long-term sustainability, you want to build your business through ethical practices. That means you're not trying to take shortcuts. You're not trying to take shortcuts. With my company, One Voice Worldwide and, and the uh, One Voice Radio, the platform you're listening on, I go through great painstaking details to make sure that everything is done ethically with all of my brands because I don't want any issues, legal issues, this kind of issue. And I want to do right by people who are entrusting, there's that word again, things in us, whether you're listening to the podcast, whether you're a part of One Voice Worldwide or the Farrah Coffee brand, whatever it may be, you're entrusting something into us. And I take the ethical practices of that trust. I take that seriously. Uh, Dr. Monroe also talked about, you know, you want to be using these re resources that we have that we've been entrusted with in a lot of cases for the benefit of other people. At the end of the day, it's for other people, either to serve them, either to empower them, whatever it is. This is why the podcast, the Deep Dive podcast, I keep wanting to put guests on and I keep saying I'm going to put guests on and I am. But the bigger purpose of this particular uh, podcast, which is a business, right? Um, it is to benefit other people. It is a resource to benefit other people. So if you think about what I'm saying in terms of stewardship, if you think about the way Dr. Monroe teaches it, he says, again, the importance of, uh, you know, this stewardship, the importance, he taught the importance of responsible management of the business, ethical practices of the business, but then also having or using the resources to benefit other people. That's the backbone of the Deep Dive podcast It's to benefit other people. And so, yeah, we'll get guests on. We'll hee hee, ha ha. We'll sing. We'll do whatever we need to do. But I want to empower some people, man. I want to benefit other people. That's what good stewardship is all about. And that fourth and final law um, of business, we've all heard this. We've talked about this at nauseum, but it's leadership. It is leadership. Now, people will say, well, how does leadership relate specifically to a business law? It's very simple. You know, focusing on the, the principles of servant leadership. Now, note the word servant, servant leadership and the role of leaders in empowering and equipping, equipping teams of people or individual people. That's what leadership is all about. You know, you want to be able to be a first of all servant. I talked to you about this last week. This is not something that I created. Uh, you know, I was taught this from my mentor, as I mentioned, Dr. Monroe, but so many people who have had success, the Oprah Winfrey's of the world come to mind. The Tyler Perry's of the world come to mind. They always talk about having a servant's mentality. So when you are a leader and you're in a leadership position, you want to have a servant's mentality. That's what's going to give you long-term sustainable success in your business. Um, I believe that effective leadership involves not only serve, serving other people, but developing their potential. This is why I'm so uh, much of a proponent and an advocate for mentorship, because that's a, an opportunity to develop one's potential. That person who may be a mentee, right? That's a big part of being leaders. So you got the whole serving portion of it, being a servant. You're also developing their potential, but you also want to create an environment that fosters growth within a person or a team and success, fosters growth and success within a person or a team. All of these are characteristics of a leader. See, if you're not developing people and you consider yourself a leader, then it, you're, you're really not doing a great job. In order to be a leader, you have to be developing leader, um, developing people or developing teams, or just empowering people at another level. You have to be doing that as a leader. So just kind of summing up these four laws as we close out. Again, the first law is purpose. We talked about that. The second law is vision. We understand what vision is, why that's so important. The third law is, again, I think is uh, probably the most important from my standpoint, is being a good steward over the things that you have received. And then also leadership, that is developing other people, creating an environment for other people, individuals or teams that will help them uh, sustain 
success in their lives as you're building your business or your life. All of these are super important. And I want everybody to just kind of take note of these four laws. Okay. So with that, I'm going to close out the podcast for this particular week. I didn't want to keep it very long, but again, I think this information uh, was important. If you really study up on um, how these four laws can benefit your business. I think that'll help you and it'll go a long way in terms of your sustainable success in business. Don't forget guys to like, subscribe, download and share the podcast. Make sure you, you know, you're supporting us, man. We got some great things happening with One Voice Radio. For those of you who may not know, we have revamped the entire platform for One Voice Radio. It is second to none. We've upgraded the technology. We've added programs, additional programs. We're continuously adding programs. I want you to go to onevoiceradio.com. Some of you are listening on the radio website now. Others may be on the iOS or the Android app. Either way, download One Voice Radio app, Android or iOS. Like, subscribe, download, share this information. Please, please, please. I'm not asking because you know, I want to have, uh, you know, something I have to benefit from. I want to, I'm asking because I want to get this message of empowerment to as many people as possible around the globe. All right. So thank you so much for your support. Go to the website, uh, the deep dive podcast live or the radio website, one voice radio.com. Thank you uh, for listening in to this particular episode of the deep dive podcast. God bless each and every one of you. And I'll see you on the beaches of the world.